Guys, Gen Z, can we all just congregate for a second here, okay? Seriously, this is an emergency meeting. We are officially old, okay? We are senior citizens ready to be shipped to the retirement home. And uh, what makes me say this? I can't even believe it's gonna come out of my mouth. I can't even say it. <laughs> the 2014 aesthetic is now a trend within Gen Alpha. In the past couple of weeks, I've been noticing that these kids are making and uploading videos that say POV, you start 2024 like it's 2014 and in brackets they'll say I was five! And when I tell you this hurt my soul, I mean it. Because 10 years ago I was 10, I'm 20! What?! But it doesn't just stop there, because there was another girl who got onto the app and said, me romanticizing 2014 like I wasn't four years old. Oh my god! But dude, let me assure you something. There was literally nothing to romanticize in 2014. All you would hear on the radio is, what does the fox the Oh my god, like, shut up. And then you would go to school the next day thinking that you were safe from the repetitiveness of one song, only to hear that there seven different girls sitting around a table all practicing the cup song from Pitch Perfect! Whatever! Let me tell you right now, you are not missing much at all. And then it gets even worse because people who were three years old in 2014 are romanticizing that year by using the dog filter on Snapchat! <sighs> mm. <laughs> Is that filter a relic from a bygone era now? Not only was I there for the introduction of those filters to Snapchat like it was some groundbreaking futuristic technology, but I literally scrolled through my Snapchat memories and found myself using this filter in 2016 because that was just what was cool to do at the time and now it's seen as some retro novelty <gasps> but i think the most hilarious part about all of this is that when i was watching these videos i literally felt myself transforming into an old head Seriously, I literally felt like my mother when I saw that in this video when someone said that 2024 is the new 2014 I saw an Apple TV remote and legitimately said to myself Um, actually nobody in 2014 owned an Apple TV But for your information that Apple TV remote didn't come out until it was almost 2016 so you got it wrong. Guys, what is happening to me? But they said they didn't care about accuracy and that the aesthetic was all that mattered. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry, I had to laugh at that, I don't care. But it wasn't just an Apple TV remote that I turned into a 70 year old man over because there was another Gen Alpha who got it wrong. <laughs> Because they also uploaded a video that said 2024 is the new 2014 as well. But other than the Fiji water in this video, I genuinely recognize nothing in this video. I don't know what any of that is. However, what my 70 year old brain did recognize was that iPad looked a little too crisp. It looked a little too new. And I found out that this was literally the sixth generation iPad that was released in 2018. A whole four years after 2014. Guys, this just in, Apple logo equals 2014. I think what's really interesting to me though is how these kids are making videos saying POV 09's this year with a bunch of those pictures from 2014 in the background with captions like born to be a teen in the 2000s, forced to be born in 09. Because they're literally just acting like how Gen Z acted when Stranger Things Season 1 first came out. Like, we were all being cringe and saying, oh, we were born in the wrong generation, we were born in the wrong decade. And then when the IT movie came out in 2017, we all just wanted to be in the 80s. So if there's one thing that's in common here with Gen Alpha and Gen Z and really all generations previous, is that we all just miss simpler times. Are you guys getting that? Like, are you making that connection? Water. Earth. 
fire. Air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. I think what's also fascinating is how they're decorating their rooms into the 2014 aesthetic as well. They're dedicated to living this lifestyle because they're collecting all of their vintage 2014 items. Vintage and 2014 should not be in the same sentence. So much so to the point where they're creating playlists dedicated to 2014 with songs by Britney Spears and Beyonce that came out in the very early 2000s. Songs from Lady Gaga's first album released in 2008. Songs from Ariana Grande that didn't come out until 2018. And songs from the Black Eyed Peas, Missy Elliott and Nelly. All of which are not 2014 music. So, they're getting it wildly incorrect, okay? But I'll give them an A for effort. But what really shocks me about all of this is the fact that Gen Alpha aren't the only ones who are missing this period of time. Because at the exact same time, Gen Z, my generation, are also saying how much they miss 2014. We agree with Gen Alpha! And it's incredibly rare for two generations to agree on something. We have Gen Z pulling the iconic Maybelline baby lips from their Victoria's Secret bags and listening to music through earphones on an iPod, unlocking their iPhone 4s and showing people what a teenager's camera roll looked like from that era, like it's literally a time capsule. And saying that they still use the same items as they did in 2014 to this day, so really, they're still holding on because they never left. And, yeah, okay, maybe we can say that this all started because at the beginning of the year, Kylie Jenner uploaded a picture of herself with her pink hair, and suddenly people were like, oh my god, is King Kylie era back? But I disagree with that because the Kardashians don't have that much power over society anymore. They haven't dictated trends since 2011. Or maybe we can say that it was Addison Rae because she uploaded the most authentic looking pictures from this entire 2014 craze onto her Instagram right on New Year's Day. And then followed that post up with even more 2014 era pictures as she literally posed with an iPhone 5. But honestly, I don't even think that's the case either. Because I think in this article that MBS wrote, they said it perfectly. If I had to sum that all up, I'd say people just miss having fun. And Tumblr was a lot of fun. People haven't been having fun online for a while. It's like a job for everyone. You don't even have to be trying to be famous and it feels like a job for people. And isn't that just the goddamn truth? Because there have been several videos that have been going viral on the app recently of young people creating these collages of what life used to look like and feel like from a time before where people started treating social media like a career. But now, everything is just grey, it's dull, it's minimalistic. Because just look back to the selfie music video the Chainsmokers released in 2014. Nobody was using ring lights, nobody was setting up tripods, nobody was trying to find their perfect angle, and nobody was editing their pictures, and nobody was making sure they wore the right colours in order to fit with the rest of their Instagram feed. They just took a goddamn selfie anywhere they wanted at any point in time and didn't care about what it looked like. But nobody does that anymore. <laughs> I don't even do that. Look at my Instagram. Now, it all feels like a performance. It all feels designed and curated. Everything looks the exact same and everybody wants to make the exact same kind of content. Individuality is rare now because these videos take hours for these people to make and yet I can't tell them apart. And I'm not just exaggerating either because in 2014 nobody knew what a goddamn influencer was because nobody used that word back then. But now, fast forward to 2024 and we have people attending influencer schools where they're all wearing the exact same clothes, using the exact same equipment, and all acting the exact same way to try and present themselves to be as marketable and as profitable as possible. I'm not exaggerating when you can go into literally any department store 
right now and find something called a creator kit. Which was never an item that was on the shelves when I was growing up. Look at the very first video that I uploaded on this channel. Did I have a ring light? No. Did I have a remote control for said ring light so I could change its colors or its tone or its brightness? No, I didn't. Did I have a green screen and a tripod? Again, no, I didn't. But what's even more disgusting and honestly disturbing than that is that if you go to buy a toy or a gift for your child for their birthday or for Christmas, you can literally buy them a play vlogger kit with a wooden phone, a wooden ring light, fake cameras and fake selfie sticks. How can we be surprised that Gen Alpha says they wish they got to be kids or teenagers in a simpler time when becoming online content creators has been shoved in their faces since childhood? How can we be surprised they missed that error when they're being told they can't even wear blush or have a certain skin type anymore? These trends are dying in 2024. First up, we have the sunburnt blush look. A lot of people think this trend is going to stay because of Sabrina Carpenter, but I think it's going to have a downfall this year. After that, say goodbye to glowy skin because Matt is taking its place. So all the hard work I did for glowy skin was for nothing? No! No, it wasn't because you can do glowy skin whenever you want. How can we be surprised they want to go back when all they see is videos of people asking what shoes they're going to be wearing in the spring as if you need a different pair of shoes for every single season of the year? And people who stitched this video on TikTok said it best. Why can't we just wear what we like? Why do we need people online telling us what we should wear? Why do we need outside influence? Do we not know what we want to wear anymore? And my personal favorite, the ones I wore last year. That's what I'm wearing this spring, bruh. I'm so tired of y'all. Welcome everybody to my shoe rack. I genuinely do not remember the last time I bought myself a pair of shoes, if I've ever done that. For example, I still wear these Adidas Superstars that I got in 2016 when I was 12 years old. I still wear them to this day. I also got these blue Adidas when I went to Los Angeles in 2016, when I was, again, 12 years old. Why do I still wear these shoes I've had since I was 12 years old, even though I'm literally turning 20? Because they still fit me and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. So why would I get rid of them? Why would I replace them simply just because the season is changing? And yes, obviously I have more shoes, but they were bought for me as gifts. I will not buy myself a pair of shoes. I refuse to. I don't know why. It's just something that I won't do. I got these Converse, these slip-on Converse for Christmas in 2021. They were a gift from my mom. The exact same year, I also got a pair of black Converse, the high tops. Do you see the point I'm trying to make here? The point of a pair of shoes is to wear them until you absolutely just cannot anymore. Like I will only have to be forced to stop wearing these if the sole of the shoe is literally slipping off. Otherwise, this is perfectly fine for me to wear the rest of my life. I don't give a damn. How are we surprised that Gen Alpha wishes they experienced a more simpler time in life when they're literally being encouraged to use TikTok as their search engine? Me searching for anything on TikTok as if it's Google. Product reviews, cafes, clothes, food, music, skincare, makeup, books, how-tos and tutorials, lectures, internships, a word I don't know. TikTok is a whole search engine for me. How can we be surprised when they feel embarrassed to wear a certain type of jean because they're told that anything that isn't baggy jeans is cringe? Y'all wanna look like some damn Roblox characters with these baggy jeans. Y'all. It's too much! It's too much baggy! How can we be surprised they'd want to go back to a simpler time when their generation is literally spending their time on TikTok, getting into fights and debates and arguments over what's coquette and what's not coquette? This is a work of art. This is bullshit. This is a work of art. This is bullshit. This is a work of art, but this, this is bullshit. Um, so does somebody want to break the news to Gen Alpha that trends are actually supposed to be fun? Do they know that 
you can still participate in a trend but put your own spin on it so it's fun for you and so that you enjoy yourself more while participating in this trend. How can we be surprised when every single little thing is an aesthetic nowadays and they can't decide which one they want to be despite the fact that it's all literally the same thing with just a different name because hashtag consumerism and despite the fact that you don't have to box yourself within one aesthetic or within one style. Life would be so boring if we all conformed to one aesthetic for the rest of our lives. Dress however you want, whenever you want. Who cares? Fashion is supposed to be fun. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!